I'm really passionate about football. I just like the, the whole idea of it and the, the team aspect of it. You start pouring sweat together, spilling blood together, working so hard, putting in the long hours. There's nothing like it. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Started playing sports when I was young, played soccer, basketball, taekwondo, and I realized I could really go forward with basketball. I really loved basketball. It was absolutely my life. In 2012, I had my first diagnosed concussion. I remember I was coming over the middle and I kind of got sandwiched and then my head hit the ground and bounced off the ground. Definitely right away I, I was dizzy and foggy and stood up and couldn't really see straight and I knew right away something was wrong. First concussion I got an elbow to the cheekbone and I remember being in tons of pain and then there was a big chunk of time after that, probably 25 minutes that I don't really remember. Concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury and it's caused by either a blow to the head or a blow to the body with an impulsive force to the head. The symptoms can be quite varied. Anything from headache and dizziness to trouble remembering, trouble concentrating, low energy. I went off the field and uh, was talking with the trainers and they were asking me questions and I had no idea the answer. They asked me, like, who are we playing? Didn't know. Who, what was the score? Who's winning? Didn't know. A brain injury, it's so much different than a broken arm. You can see your arm's broken and you feel it. And it's just a scary thing when you're not yourself. I was dizzy and I was kind of out of it, but I just kept pushing. I didn't know. If you suspect someone has received a concussion, stop the activity immediately, have the person assessed on the field by a trained individual, and remove the person from the environment when safe to do so. If the athlete is suspected of having a concussion, they should be followed up by a healthcare professional, either in the emergency room, their family doctor, or a specialist in sport and exercise medicine. As much as you want to get back out there and help your team and, you know, kind of push through an injury or be tough or whatever you want to call it, it's just not worth it. No two concussions are the same. Some patients will go on to have chronic symptoms. Decreased function at school or work, chronic headaches, emotional change, behavioral change, insomnia or trouble sleeping. So an athlete with concussion would typically go to see a physician. They would have a full physical examination, including balance assessment and a cognitive assessment, and then given a lot of education on the importance of rest and gradual return to play. It's important to remember that most sport concussions do resolve if they're recognized early and managed properly right from the start. After the first assessment, the patient is given advice on what they're allowed to do at that point. So they may be told to go home and completely rest. They may be allowed to do some very gentle activity. Pretty much just didn't do anything strenuous. I definitely avoid crowds. I would avoid bright lights and would just chill out. I didn't do anything active. After about 10 to 14 days, started being symptom free. And then with symptom resolution, we introduce back activities in a graded fashion. Once you're asymptomatic, you can start to do light activity, whether that's just walking or standard bike. From there, then you can sort of step it up a level. We don't allow an athlete to go back to play until they're symptom free. We may allow an athlete to go back to school with still some minor symptoms as long as the symptoms are controlled. You can't push through your symptoms. Uh, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with your trainer. I think the way I handled it was the right way to do it, and I was able to finish the season, play well, play hard, and really had no effects from it. Once an athlete has had a concussion, the risk for subsequent injury is higher, and a higher likelihood that they're going to have persistent problems. So we have to keep that in mind when we make return to play decisions. Fourth concussion was a lot worse. The symptoms had multiplied by about 10. I had headaches 10 out of 10, so the worst I've ever had headaches. And the doctors diagnosed it as a major concussion right away. So I got prescribed two weeks in a dark room where you just sit and do nothing. At this point, I was really worried about what my future looked like. I've been advised never to go back to contact sports. My decision to step away from basketball was a lifelong decision. At the end of the day, my quality of life was more important than my next two years playing university basketball. This has impacted every day in my life and I have to be careful with everything I do. I can't play pickup basketball. I don't ski anymore. Little things like even volleyball, like I'm in the back because a small hit to the head will be a huge thing for me. Concussion prevention is critically important. We should all be aware of the risk of concussions. I think education is a key factor in getting the message out parents, athletes, coaches about the signs and symptoms and have a positive outcome.
Our ultimate goal is to prevent a concussion before it happens and to improve the lives of those who have suffered a concussion. We're proud of our active concussion research program here in London, Ontario through Western University and the affiliated teaching hospitals and research institutes. We're developing targeted injury prevention programs relying on awareness, education, and development of safer playing environments and sporting facilities. Sports are a valuable part of life and a valuable part of growing up, but it has to be part of a healthy life. A hit to the head needs to be treated seriously. I feel I'm at a point where I can live a daily life and maybe that wouldn't be the case if I had another concussion. And I think that was the best decision I've made. To help prevent head injuries in sports, you gotta play smart. You gotta wear the right gear. You gotta be a good teammate. You gotta be a good sportsman. You gotta look out for the other teammates. You know, you're all just there to play a game. You can't mess around with your life. Play hard, play smart.